Hey guys, I'm out here in North Little Rock at the Flash Mountain Mystic Crystals Mine. Today we're going to be looking for some solution quartz. And I drove up about halfway. You got kind of a, a fairly steep hill-ish. And then you can drive up a really steep hill uh, going up that way and park at the top if you have four wheel drive. So just walking up the road, I was able to find all kinds of pieces like this right here, just clusters of solution quartz. It's so beautiful. So this was the first of many pieces that I wound up taking home with me. Here's a quick look at it after I got it all cleaned off. Let's zoom in for a quick detail shot of all the quartz. Here's another piece that I picked up off the side of the trail. And here's how that piece turned out after I got it all washed off. So we're going to follow this vein up through here, going up, and then it splits. Half goes that way and half goes that way. But all through here, see this dark? That's all crystals going down through here. Like this is crystals right here. Crystals going up, and that vein just goes up and then it splits. Goes up this direction. See, this is the back of the vein, and crystals facing that way. This is the back of the vein. Crystals facing this direction. Goes down. And here's the other half over here where it splits. Been working on this over here. Oh, that popped out a little bit easier than I thought. That's it. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? I'll work this uh, this vein a little bit more. See what all I can get to come out of it. So I've been uh, working this vein a little bit right here, and I've just separated a couple of rocks, and I've been pulling out all kinds of uh, pocket clay uh, with small needle quartz uh, crystals in there. All this uh, beautiful solution quartz. There's one rock there. There's gonna be a whole lot inside of that right there as well. We'll take these home later and get them cleaned up, see how they turned out. This right here, this whole clump right here is just full of it. And all on top of uh, one big uh, sandstone uh, matrix right here. I want to give you a quick teaser of what some of the pieces look like that are embedded down there in that clay. Here's a few of the small clusters that I found down in there. I'll show you several more towards the end of the video. There are so many unique and beautiful pieces to find here at this location. If you ever get the chance to visit, I'd highly recommend it. I'm starting to find some of this uh, white pocket clay. I pulled that right out of here. Okay, no idea what this is going to turn out like, but I just broke off a piece of the vein. You see how the crystals are kind of growing into each other? And you got some of that mud and iron staining. See right now it's just a, a big solid uh, piece of quartz. Um, but you can see the different crystals, how they grew into each other. Started off uh, thin right here, and it's starting to spread out a little bit. You can see some crystal structure. Let me set that up there. Man, that's much harder to do one-handed than I thought. All right, just had to loosen that a little bit. Try to pull that out. You can hear the crystals ripping. Basically, that's just one big solid chunk of quartz where all the crystals have grown into each other. Oh, that piece just broke off. So my curiosity got the better of me on this piece. I wanted to take it home and get it washed off and take a look at it and see how it turned out. Let me flip this rock over a few times and look at the different sides to see if it was worth taking home or not. Check out all the rehealing growth on this side right here. I think all those little triangles are really, really neat. Right there, and that seam goes up. <sighs> got a small seam coming up this way over here on the left side. You can see all that pocket clay right there. And then this wider one comes up on this side. You see the crystals right here. Uh, that's a big face right there. 
So these bigger crystals are going up here towards the left over that way and looks like it splits off into uh, into two sections. I'll see if I can't uh, extract some of this stuff right here because that's that looks like a big face right there. I'm curious to see how big that crystal is. I know it's all grown into each other um, but I'd still like to just see what it looks like. Okay I've just got this piece loose well, loose with a crowbar. Let's see if I can grab it with my hand. Really nice big piece. I don't know how many points are gonna be on it or if it's just all gonna be solid. Cause I've got right here where my fingers are and I'm moving around. Uh, it's sandstone, and then you got that seam uh, right there. It looks like a bunch of uh, pieces that are going to be broken solid uh, from growing, in, growing into each other. So my curiosity got the better of me on this piece as well, and I wanted to take it home and see what it looked like also. Notice all the rehealing triangles right there. I think those are really neat. On these points here on the back side, there's a lot of mountain leather and some cookite on there as well. Really, really cool. That should have some nice stuff on it. Put that in my bag. And uh, this stuff right down here should have some nice stuff on it. And this side over here um, is where those crystals were facing. Hopefully that'll have some nice stuff on it. We'll open that up a little bit more and see if we can't find something, something good. There's a pretty point right there. You see it right there above my thumb. I don't know what's going to be underneath this clay, but we're going to leave that clay on top of there uh, to help protect the crystals. So that larger seam that was on the left side, all the crystals were pretty much grown into each other. So I wasn't really finding a whole lot of points in that seam. So I decided to work the seam that was on the right side because it had a lot of clay there. What I was really after on this trip was all the really unique and small clusters. So I'm working this area right here where this uh, smaller uh, seam is. I broke off this rock and a few others next to it and this piece right here fell out. It is just, this right here is just straight up pocket clay going right here. And I know there's going to be all kinds of like uh, little crystals uh, buried within it. So I'm just keeping that whole wad of clay, putting that up in there. And uh, here's a couple of the rocks that came off of there. You just see it's just uh, covered with that uh, pocket clay right there. So I don't know what's going to be underneath it, um, but there should at least be a bunch of little small points, if anything. And when you get that uh, pocket clay, that's going to be kind of that, uh, that white and red uh, material right there. You can see that's got uh, some pocket uh, clay all over it, but there's it's just going to be loaded with all kinds of little small points. So that should be what's in all of this stuff right here. It's just all kinds of uh, little points uh, buried right there in all that uh, pocket clay. Or embedded, I should say, not necessarily buried. But So this has opened up a little bit. And I'll try to uh, uh, get this stuff right here that's in this uh, little pocket. It's just got all kinds of uh, pocket clay in there with lots of little micro crystals. Here's a little cluster that uh, uh, fell out of there. Here's a quick look at that little double terminated cluster that fell out of that clay. Now my goal is to try to keep as much of this clay as possible and try to keep things intact because I don't know what's going to be buried um, or what's going to be embedded down there in all that clay uh, material. So 
sometimes I use these tools to help persuade the rocks to come on out when they typically don't want to. They can be a little stubborn and hard-headed. Which, Lord knows I can be that way myself. So this should be really nice. Here's a quick example of one of the pieces that was embedded in all of that clay. Kind of reminds me of a teeny tiny crystal handgun. And here's a quick look at that piece after I got it rinsed off with some water. Here's a crystal point that has a little bit of cookite right there at the tip of the crystal. There's also a rainbow on the other side of that tip as well. Here's a little closer look at that piece after I got it all washed off. Check out that small cookite inclusion. Here are a few individual pieces that I was pulling out of that seam. So this uh, pocket clay is pretty much going right up this way and right up here to the top. And I just pulled this little piece from the top over here. I should have plenty of uh, really pretty crystals in there. So I'm just going to noodle around in this whole area right here and see what I can come up with. There'll be a bunch of clay and a bunch of little small needle points in there, but they'll be really intricate and very uh, more kind of on the fancy high-end uh, side of it. My son Joseph and I have been having a lot of fun out here at Flash Mountain so far today. Uh, I've just primarily been sticking with one area, uh, like I found a vein and then I've just been sticking with it the whole time uh, to see what I can uh, get out of it. So I've uh, worked uh, where areas are really kind of joined together and um, then they're starting to open up a little bit and then I'm just finding a lot of small stuff. A lot of these things, I'm not gonna know what they look like uh, until I get home and I'm able to clean them up because they're just covered in some pretty thick clay right now. Uh, my son Joseph has been kind of walking around a little bit, exploring the property, finding all kinds of uh, neat and fun rocks and uh, a few critters along the way too. Um, but anyhow, I'm still working this uh, pocket uh, right here. Um, there's still a little bit of clay right there, and there's just a bunch of little like little micro points. Been digging with uh, Justin Baird. He's uh, run around uh, down that way somewhere, causing all kinds of trouble. So, and uh, yeah, just been having a blast up here on the mountain. It's a beautiful area. Got a nice breeze. Um, leaves are starting to change. And uh, yeah, come on out here to Flash Mountain. You'll have a lot of fun. I got another little spot of some pocket clay here. And it started to open up a little bit. All the crystals are all pretty small, but uh, here's some of the clay. That kind of whitish uh, and red mix. There should be some really pretty stuff in, inside of there. Just teeny tiny little clusters with little needle quartz just poking out everywhere. So that'll be in this area right here. Right, and right in here. Crystal police. Say hi, Justin. Give me all your crystals. <laughs> there you go. Catch. Search. Legal search and seizure <laughs> of all your crystals. Here's a look at one of my clusters. Uh, still all raw with a lot of dirt on it. But you can make out uh, quite a few uh, little crystals on there. Just really, really pretty stuff. I typically don't find the really big crystals here. I usually get them um, bigger than this one. Uh, bigger than these, anyhow. But... They're very intricate and very nice and very good quality here at this location. Here's some more of this uh, solution quartz. Still raw, still uh, pretty dirty, needing to be cleaned. But look at that. They just grow on top of each other and on top of each other and on top of each other. Really, really beautiful material here. Curved quartz. Check that out. Double terminated. That big old tabby. Big old double terminated tabby right there. I'm digging with Justin over here at Flash Mountain. These are a few of his nicest finds that he's got for today so far. Check that one out. That is awesome. Let me get my camera to focus. It's a beautiful piece. Oh yeah. Got a lot of good stuff. All these uh, brownish uh, rocks right there, those are ones that he's dug up that he's gonna be cleaning up uh, later on when he gets home. Then he's got a bunch of single points right behind him. Um. 
<laughs> Check out all those single points he's got right there. All of that from this itty bitty little hole right here that he's been digging. He found one rock uh, that uh, was really milky and he uh, just removed that rock and just started digging right behind it and he's been finding all these crystals right there. That was my signal to dig. Mm -hmm. I saw this in the ground sideways like that so I knew there was a vein going that way and I got lucky. Sometimes you pull that up it'll just stay solid and you won't get any crystals. Sometimes you get lucky. Yeah this time he, uh, he got very lucky. He's been digging with a, a deer antler which helps uh, preserve the uh, crystals so they don't get damaged. There's a lot of tree roots here at this location. Oh I see something shiny. I see a really nice crystal. Yeah, I'm still on it. Uh-huh. Right I think there. there's another cluster back there. Uh-huh. I don't I have it. to move my pile, honestly. So Justin's working on a uh, giant cluster in there. We're hoping it's a giant one anyhow. It's kind of embedded in there. It's uh, looking really pretty right now. We'll see how it turns out. So Justin, what's uh, some of the benefits of using a deer antler? Well, you don't scratch crystals which is pretty important. It's harder to break the tips off of clusters. See it? That's about it compared to using metal tools. Metal tools will move the earth better, but for more precision, when you've got crystal faces showing and you don't want to ruin what you're trying to dig, it's best to try to use deer antlers, especially if you're right up against it. If you're moving like a side rock, your cluster's right here, you're trying to move a side rock, I mean, you can put metal back here and move that out of the way, but when you're trying to get, get the cluster more exposed, get the dirt off of it, things like that, trying to loosen it up, uh, it's best to use a deer antler. There's a crystal. Hey, look at that. That's not too bad. Looks like it might be a floater. Nice. Look too carefully. Yeah, it's nice, but it's distracting me <laughs> from getting this cluster. I don't want the small ones, I want this big one. I mean, I nice. do. Double I want, terminated I want uh, tabular. Yeah, that looked like a good one. It looked like it had a nice fodden line in there, mm -hmm. too. Quartz, thankfully, because it did break. But I was thinking that was just quartz. The cluster's under it. So that's good. We we freed up a little more space here. Hopefully it is loose now. A little bit. Not really. Oh there. It's coming. Oh, nice. It's coming. You ready? Uh-huh. Here it comes. Dude, that's wow. the best one of the day nice. for me. Wow. Incredible. Oh, it's got cookite in it, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that's insane. I'm glad I didn't quit. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't either. Oh, man. That's insane. So Justin, how can people find you on social media? Um, they can search Arkansas Rockhound. My name is Justin Baird, B-A-I-R-D. You can search that or search Arkansas Rockhound on Facebook. If you guys want to see this piece all cleaned up, just follow those uh, those links. I'll put the links in the description below. It's coming. It's loose. Here comes the baby. That genuine smile. <laughs> That's Good pretty Good job, Justin. That's pretty sweet. That is sweet. What was other stuff over here? Can I see that one, Justin? Is that okay? Yeah. All right. All right. Did you get this one? That's the one right there. That's, That's the, gonna be pretty. the best find of the day. Good job. That's gonna be super pretty. 
All right, guys, let's go home. Let's take a look at some of these pieces, see what they look like cleaned up. I'll show a few of the highlights. And uh, yeah, if you're ever in uh, wondering uh, what Flash Mountain uh, Mystic Crystals uh, is about, uh, it's a wonderful mine. I highly recommend it. Uh, come on out. Uh, you'll have a lot of fun. Kathy is super great. Uh, her husband, Gordon, is awesome, too. Uh, it's a little bit of a hike to come up this hill. It's a little steep. Uh, but if this old fat guy could do it, I'm sure just about anybody could do it. So uh, <laughs> hello, Miss Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> I am camera shy, that's uh -huh. why y'all don't see yeah. a whole lot of me on well, camera. Well see, I've got a face that's made for radio, so. So if you know me in real life, I like to quote a lot of different movies. The whole way going back down this hill, I kept thinking of Ace Ventura 2. Spectacular! This land holds great beauty. Alright, so let's go back home and take a look at all of our finds. Here is a quick look at some of the pieces that we dug up yesterday. Just two people digging for six hours, roughly, give or take. This is why I keep those uh, wads of clay. A lot of times they'll have uh, quite a few little double terminated or even just single point crystals inside of them. These long uh, needle-like uh, quartz pieces are just really, really pretty. All right, so after we saw the table full of raw crystals, let's highlight a few of the pieces to see how they turned out after we got them all washed off.
right, guys, we're going to call it a day. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.